So a big question that uh, a lot of agents ask me about the show and stuff like that is that they want to know how the top producers generate business and stuff because that's the, the golden mystery in, in this business, right? Um, so how do you guys generate business? Obviously, you've been doing it for almost 20 years, so I'm sure there's a lot of past referral kind of clients, but do you have any uh, tips or tricks to pass along to the audience here watching? Hmm. Late, I mean, lately it's been a ton of referrals and you know, SEO and past clients. Yeah. So do you do anything specifically to har to harvest that? Like, we, are you sending we try out letters? To, no, or? we try to stay on social media, and we just started making videos. We try to get a couple of those out. Well, at least one a week. We started, well, yeah, we're going to do two videos a week. And we're like, no, we're not. It's too much. <laughs> we for the first week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that kind of thing. You know, we just stay in front of people, and I think it keeps you, like, top of mind and – the unpopular answer is it takes time. Yeah. Like there's always a select, very, very small group of agents that come in and just hit at the right time, have the right idea and explode. But for the high majority of even top producers, it takes time because mm -hmm. it's, you have to meet new people. Mm -hmm. You have to build relationships with them, build that trust with them eventually hopefully transact with them and then from there it just kind of snowballs and so you know at this point for us going back to we just have kind of you know we have a good sphere of influence we have a good amount of past clients we have a handful of investors or you know still like some corporations we work with um, but you know the other thing that I, and this is I think the only thing I try to like like what Brian talked about um, plug modern lending real quick, Brian yeah. Decker. But one, you know what he talked about. So like right now, and this is one thing I think a lot of agents miss the mark on is, you know, he was talking about, uh, you know, the FHA kind of like spot approvals on. Mm -hmm. Like you need to look for those like niche opportunities where they may only last for the next three to six months, but if you can go, grab six to ten new transactions and do well, mm -hmm. and in five years those are six to ten more transactions plus six to ten more referrals. Yeah. And so a lot of people come in and say, well, I need to make so many calls. You do. You need to do so many open houses. You do. You need to run social media ads. Yes. You need to do all that, but you also need to look for those like unique opportunities. So if short sales are, you yeah. know, you got to get ahead of that if that's a thing. If it's, mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden this complex is VA approved, you've got to get ahead of that. And I, you know, it's, we're mentoring one person right now, and I think a lot of lights are turned on for him, and, you know, he's starting mm -hmm. to really... I think things are starting to click in terms of ideas, but you've always got it. There's always little like niche type ideas that present themselves like yeah. every quarter, every year. And you got to figure out how to get in front of those and to build new business. Cause again, it's, it really is how many people you know and how many people you've worked with and then obviously yeah. how you treat them. And I think, and I think one thing that I realized, I don't know why just over the past couple months is like, our job is marketing. I mean, yeah, yeah, we sell homes, but like our main job is to market ourselves. Yeah. And as yeah. long as you're doing that somehow, but it has to be something that you enjoy. Like if you don't enjoy open houses, then you need to figure out something else. Yeah. But you have to find something that you're doing consistently. And for us right now, it's social media. So we just do videos and yeah. make funny, stupid stuff. And people are like, you guys are so funny. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Well, no, yes, but, we are. Yeah. But it's engagement. Horrible. I mean, yeah, it's just engaging <laughs> people. And that's the name of the game today, yeah. right? Be real. It's, all, it's yeah. all engagement. That's why there's hashtags. They're really for engagement. Oh, somebody else posted something I posted. What did they say? And yeah. that's it just creates engagement. It's not to go off on a tangent, but the business has completely done a 180 from when I started. They were excited that the MLS looked like a one-line IBM type computer screen <laughs> when I started. Right. That's how long I've been in the business. But at that time, if you really think about it, you could sit at like Century 21. Mm -hmm. I could spend five hours a day becoming smart and knowing everything front to back in a contract. And as long as I had that one or two hour like up desk time, mm -hmm. people didn't have access to any, any information. Mm -hmm. So they came in to talk to us all day long. You didn't have to market. You had to be smart. Mm -hmm. So if you came in because you had to, you had no other option, I had to know right. what to say. Now it's totally different. You cannot know a friggin' thing. In your Instagram's of, popping. Right. People yeah. are going to talk to Google 20 times it's before so they call scary. you. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. So it's just, it's like Rachel said, it's all about, you know, it's just um, being in front of people. Mm -hmm.